On November 17, 2024, South Korean President Yoon suk Yeol and Peruvian President Dina Boluarte held a landmark summit at the Presidential Palace in Lima, Peru. During the meeting, the two leaders issued a joint declaration and signed several memorandums of understanding, strengthening the partnership between the two nations, particularly in the area of naval defense. A major focus of the summit was the signing of a memorandum of understanding for joint submarine development. This agreement aims to combine South Korea's advanced naval engineering expertise with Peru's strategic maritime goals. South Korea, known for its cutting-edge submarine technology, including the KSS-3 submarines, is well-equipped to support Peru's efforts to modernize its naval fleet. The deal also includes technology transfer and industrial collaboration, ensuring greater interoperability between the two countries' naval forces. The leaders also discussed expanding cooperation in shipbuilding, with South Korea's world-renowned shipbuilding industry playing a key role in future naval projects. Talks included potential collaborations on surface combatants and logistics vessels, which would further bolster Peru's naval capabilities. The growing defense relationship between South Korea and Peru began with a donation of two Pohang-class corvettes to the Peruvian Navy, BAP Ferre in 2016 and BAP Guys in 2022. These donations marked the beginning of a strong partnership, which was further solidified in 2013 when Peru's state-owned shipyard, SEMA, partnered with South Korea's Daesun Shipbuilding and Engineering to build the Makassar-class landing platform dock, BAP Pisco. This collaboration expanded in 2024 when HD Hyundai Heavy Industries secured a $463 million contract to co-construct four naval vessels for the Peruvian Navy. These vessels include a 3,400-ton frigate, a 2,200-ton offshore patrol vessel, and two 1,500-ton landing craft units, with the project set to be completed by 2029. The summit also followed high-level discussions held at the 2023 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation (APEC) Summit, where President Yoon and President Baluart agreed to further strengthen defense industry cooperation. As the two nations continue to deepen their military and defense ties, the recent agreements highlight the growing importance of their strategic partnership. With an emphasis on maritime security, technology transfer, and collaboration, the future of Peru-South Korea defense cooperation looks increasingly promising.